Welcome to the Faculty of Dentistry News Bites at the University of Hong Kong. I'm Stephanie Chung. Here's a taste of today's Dental News Bites. Dental students help school teachers learn dental first aid. Natural red dye acts as a stop signal for a harmful fungus. The faculty receives a historic book on dentistry. A student dental team mentored by Dr. Mike Lung Professor Lim Kuang Cheng and Professor Gary Cheng is training teachers at local schools to handle dental emergencies. The project is in its second year of operation and is being supported by the Hong Kong University Knowledge Exchange Fund. Dental students visit local schools and hold workshops for teachers, explaining what to do in the time between a dental injury and finding a dentist to deal with the emergency. For example, a permanent tooth that has been knocked out should be put back into the tooth socket straight away. Or it can be stored in milk, special salt solution, or saliva and taken to a dentist. Fractured parts of teeth that have fallen out should also be stored in that way and then taken to a dentist. Teachers who have taken part in the project so far have said that the workshops have been useful. The urgent need for the teacher training in dental first aid was highlighted in a recent research article in the Hong Kong Medical Journal, of which Professor Lim Kuang Cheng was an author. The research showed that of about 600 school teachers who were surveyed, only one in three knew that they should take the injured person to a dentist, and only one in six knew that a knocked out permanent tooth should be put back. A natural red dye used as a food coloring stops the fungus Candida albicans from growing across plastic, according to a laboratory study conducted by a faculty team. By adding the red dye purpurin, which comes from the root of the matter plant, the team prevented the fungus from multiplying and spreading on a plastic surface. Even when the fungus was first allowed to form a complete layer of cells called a biofilm, the addition of the red dye caused the biofilm to break down and lift off from the plastic. Further analysis showed that the red dye decreased the expression of genes specific to the production of cell filaments called hyphae. The fungus normally uses these filaments to attach to and grow over a surface, such as dentures and medical tubing, which is one way it causes disease in humans. In the research article published in the online journal PLOS1, the team writes that because the red dye was not toxic to human cells grown in the laboratory, it could be developed into an antifungal drug in the future. Finally, the Faculty of Dentistry has been given a first edition of a historic book on dental sciences written by the father of modern surgery, John Hunter. Published in 1771 in London, The Natural History of the Human Teeth, explaining their structure, use, formation, growth, and diseases, systematically documents scientific knowledge on human teeth for the first time. John Hunter was the first to study the development of the human teeth and jaws using a scientific approach, thereby revolutionizing the practice of dentistry and dental research. He was also the first to suggest the complete removal of a decayed tooth's pulp before applying a filling. The book was a gift from the Hong Kong University Libraries to celebrate the centenary of the university and its library system last year. Each of the university's 10 faculty deans was invited to nominate a publication as a special library acquisition. John Hunter's classic was presented to the Dean of Dentistry Professor Lakshman Samaranayake by the University Librarian Mr. Peter Sidorko and it will be kept in the rare book collection in the Dental Library. An e-copy is also available on the Dental Library's website. Those are today's Dental News Bites. Join us again next time from the Faculty of Dentistry at the University of Hong Kong. Bye-bye.